Hi, this is Sally Hall with Equality News Network, and we're reporting from the red carpet with DJ Hay and my girl Alex Cole. DJ, do you have some uh, questions lined up for all our people coming on the red carpet? we got all kinds of ridiculous things to be talking about tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's, uh, let's do a surprise attack on Alex and ask her the first question right next to you. Oh, that's Alex. Oh, my God. Well, I already asked about the shoes. We found out about that. But can oh. I give away the secret? No, you can't. Zoom down, cameraman. Grab those shoes. The only thing I can say is that they don't have a red sole, so I haven't graduated into that kind of, uh, of, of hip thing yet. <laughs> Alex is letting the girl come out tonight, but she is looking good. And look at DJ Hay, too, looking all uh, spiffy and sporty. He had a he had a yellow yellow armband on one day, and we were wondering what he was doing. No yellow today. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all ready to get this party started? This is the first ever leather fetish ball here in San Diego. We are filming from the Sunset Temple. It's Rob Rod and his crew um, in Imperial Court, probably too, right? I think so. All right, putting on the first ever leather fetish ball. Awesome. All right, tell us your name. Austin. Austin, where are you from? I was born and raised here in San Diego. So are you excited about this big first annual Leather Fest? Always, always am. Love the leather community and I'm um, really excited to see what happens tonight. Cool. So what is the, tell us a little bit about uh, what the fetish scene means to you. Well, it's a lot about community and what we can do to help each other out. Um, it's not so much just about fetish as it is about more to me about community. So, awesome. Yeah, lots of good friends, lots of good people and that's what it's about. Tell us how awesome Sally is. Sally's super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Have a good night. Yes, you too. I'm good. What's your name? Tim. Tim, are you from San Diego? What do you like best about the LGBT Center here? The LGBT... I mean the community here. The community? Oh, well, I bartend at the Eagle, and, um, you know, it's a great group to get together. We're This is the first ball that we've ever had, so it's, um, it's really, like, invigorating to see everybody get together and show um, support and a community when you know everybody feels um like part of the community exactly. yeah. <laughs> so uh, would you say that the leather scene in San Diego is large or small compared to most cities I would say it's pretty large and it's up and growing so like we're getting more community leaders out there and trying to get people to come in and um, explore and it's not something that's faux pas anymore. People actually want to interest in it. There's classes being taught everywhere, so. In San Diego? San Diego at Pleasures and Treasures, Wednesdays, 6.30. What do they teach you? Um, I think there's um, quite a few. There's like um, like bond, uh, bondage, and then there's like um, oral, some other classes, safety. Have you ever taken any? Have I? Uh, no, I bartended at the Eagle, so I'm... <laughs> you, you could give lessons, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, it was great to meet you. Have a great night. Have a lot of fun. All right, guys, we are here on the red carpet with... Jason. And... Patrick. Where are you guys from? I live here. In Hillcrest. In Hillcrest, of course. So how do you like uh, the LGBT uh, community in this town? It's pretty gay. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I like it. It's... It does me well, so there's no yeah. complaints. Cool. And yourself? Oh, I love it. It's a lot of fun here. Cool. So, um, tell us what toys you guys are into. We're just going to delve right into it. Toys? Well, I do... I don't know if I like toys. I prefer the real thing, so I don't know. <laughs> you know what event this is, right? Well, I know, but if you use the real thing, you might not need the toys. Other things, just, I don't know. I, I like it all, as long as there's no pain. As long as there's no pain. The Wait, you do know which this is fetish leather. I don't even go to the doctor afterwards. <laughs> oh, that kind of pain. Okay. <laughs> no, no blood. I see, I see. And yourself? Uh, I like sounds. Want to try electrodes. Bondage is fun. Electrodes. Explain. I know what sounds are. Oh, I had no idea. You do. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> What was the second one you said? Electroids, electrodes. or electrodes. tell us all what electrodes are. Uh, they're just little pads you put on your nipples or your your cock, and you just sends little shocks to it. Now, are you two an item, or are you just friends here? Friends. That's good, cause I don't think I, I think that would hurt. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't care about hurting other people. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> no, but I think he would want to do it to you. Uh, but definitely prefer <laughs> sounds over anything. Does that hurt? No, actually, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Stick a salad tong down your hole. 
Wow. Okay. Um, well, so when did you join the Christian Coalition? <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> okay, guys. That'll be enough. You guys have fun tonight, all right? Take care. I just got the news today. One, two, hold on. Can you move over just a tad so I can see the leather thing in the back? There you go. One, two, three. Oh, so fierce. I love that picture. I love it. Yeah, me too. Get your people together. We're here on the red carpet at the leather fetish ball with the sensations. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, it's a fabulous night. Couldn't have been better. Tell us your name. I'm Harper. Harper Sensation. Harper Sensation. And which sensation are you? And I am Diamond Sensation, Miss Gay Pride San Diego 2013. Yeah. Are you guys ready to have a lot of fun tonight? Well, if you're involved, absolutely. I'm totally involved. <laughs> so what does tonight mean to you? Well, uh, you know, there's a certain crowd that's involved in like leather and I feel like that's a crowd that doesn't get to come out too often. So this is their night, you know what I mean? So I just want to celebrate that and celebrate the fact that some people, you know, have different interests than others. And that's about, you know, celebrating our differences is the most beautiful thing to me, so. Oh, yeah. oh that's doing. beautiful. I know. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the sensations. What are you guys? What do you guys represent? All that. Um, we actually, uh, we're a family. We have a sister, Karma Sensation, in Wisconsin. And um, we are a cause against bullying and youth suicide. We also have a performing group that we started here in San Diego called The Facets. And um, we perform music uh, with a message, usually a positive message. It's uplifting. And um, we hope to cross the nation to fight against the uh, war against bullying and youth suicide. So, What a great cause. And so if one wanted to find out more information on that, how would we do that? Um, you can check out Equality News Network. You can check out um, the Diamond Sensation Facebook or the Pride Family um, Facebook page as well. And how long have you guys been around? Um, I moved here in November of 2012. Okay, long enough. You're local now. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as far as fetish goes, what's your thing, baby? You know, Mr. Gay Pride is a leather man himself, and the first time I was introduced to the uh, leather fetish was the leather pride, and I really opened up my eyes to uh, exploring new possibilities let's just put it that way um, so having this uh, fetish ball here is actually amazing it's opening up a lot of the community's eyes to a different part of our community which is what we need to do we need the togetherness we need to have understanding for not only drag queens but leathers and sisters of perpetual indulgence and all the community so it's a good thing to come and support and uh, get a little naughty <laughs> Get a little naughty, but a little nice too. The name is Sensation. Tonight's the night to get sinful. <laughs> so look out for these guys. They got a great cause and a lot of talent and a lot of beauty. Look at this. Great meeting you guys. Oh, nice to meet you too. You guys have fun tonight, okay? Thank you. All right, baby. What's going on, guys? Not much. How are you? What's your name? Russ Mortensen Boyd. All right. Are you from here, Russ? I am. And your name? Bob Boyd. All right. Tell us about what you're wearing. This is by Gucci or something, but the key to it is the back. <laughs> oh, now that's a little naughty and nice yeah, together, isn't it? Was... You, you kind of had me going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So how many cows had to die to make this? Probably a herd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks good. And what is this? Mr. Mc... Big Dreamer. Mom is Big Dreamer, yeah. Nice. So tell us what the fetish scene means to you guys. You know, it's a very large umbrella. And it covers everything from people who just wear leather to people who are down, down and dirty. I mean, it, it's a great family. Yeah. Great. And yourself? Were you listening? I was listening. I think, I I think you anything. bored him. You put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what does the fetish scene mean to you? I think it's a chance for a, a lot of us to do a, a lot of different things that we wouldn't otherwise. Some of us have small hands. And some of us, uh, hey, <laughs> Damn. bigger than yours even. <laughs> Anything else to say to anybody that's coming tonight? Go on. Well, we're oh. one of the sponsors of of the event with the Leather Foundation, okay. and it's a uh, nonprofit 501c3 type organization that that helps the leather community with uh, people who are are hurt with uh, hipsy, and we do free distribution of condoms. So. It's a, it's a pretty big thing, and so we're glad to be one of the sponsors of this uh, event tonight. 
Are you the ones who who uh, sponsor Mesa College? There's condoms all over. That's us. Yeah. What a great cause. That's that's, that's great. Safe um, sex. Safe sex. So if someone wants to find out more about your organization, how do we find out? Leatherfoundation.org. Great. All right, guys, you heard that. So go check that out if you want to get involved. And you guys have a great night tonight. We will. Oh, great to meet you. What's up, sister? Awesome. How are you? I'm good. Tell us your name. But I can make you guess it. What's my name? Sister. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, say that again. Sister, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, you got it. Awesome. Yay! Wow. It's about 50 50 awesome. where people will guess my name right. It's Sister Ida. Do I get to go to heaven? <laughs> Or purgatory with you. Where do you want to go? <laughs> well, let's find out. <laughs> it's kind of lemon, baby. <laughs> so what does tonight mean to you? What does tonight mean to me? I don't know. It's the leather fetish ball. I do know about that. We're out here to celebrate, excuse me, people in leather. So I know that it's being part of the leather community. I just, I want to be out and represent all the time. So, so what do you think is something special about our LGBT, uh, LGBT community in San Diego? Specifically here. Oh God, if I didn't say everything is special about the community, I would be remiss in my duties. It was this community that embraced who I was as a leather boy, as, as somebody coming out as a bond, you know, as who I was, um, and then becoming a sister was just an offshoot of that. So it, just to not say that it isn't everything about the community that is special would be... It formed you. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. It, it reformed me. It was a, a reigniting of my spirit. I think a lot of people feel that way I about so. it here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a lot of really great people in this community. There is definitely. And you're one of them. And I am too, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, tell us two sort of random things we don't know about you. Hi, I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the red carpet with some special folks with a special organization they'd like to talk about. Tell us your names, guys. My name is Tom Sinzi, and I'm the publicist for the No Rights or No Rights campaign, which is a campaign of uh, FreeWillUSA.com, which you probably know uh, was launched, was founded, uh, because there was a bit of discrimination that happened at the uh, 2011 Pride Festival here in San Diego. A man was arrest arrested for wearing a leather kilt if you can imagine that in the gay community. And uh, so we're here to uh, protect and stand up for people who want to be able to express themselves freely, such as people who come to play to events like the Leather and Fetish Ball, the first annual San Diego Leather and Fetish first Ball. First annual. We're so, excited, yeah. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about how, how do you go about doing that? How do you stand up for them? What's it involve? Well, you know, basically our goal, what's different about this education campaign, and it is an education campaign, is um, we're seeking to make it both glamorous and everyday to know the Bill of Rights, to know all of the 26, uh, 27 amendments to the U.S. <laughs> Constitution, and uh, and as Will Walters, the founder of our campaign, has said, Americans are more powerful when they know their rights, and that's the truth. God bless him. No <laughs> right. No and where do we go to get some more information or get involved with your organization? We would love that, and we would love if uh, you would visit and your uh, viewers would visit uh, FreeWillUSA.com. FreeWillUSA.com. And who are your lovely bookends here? <laughs> These are my delicious... We're not, you're not getting away without us talking about that. <laughs> this is Yuka, my lovely and delicious uh, left bookend. Hi, Yuka. My name is Alexis. 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 Ah, nice. All right, beautiful. So Have a great night, guys. Free Will USA.